A rational function might have a horizontal asymptote. A horizontal asymptote for a function f of x is a horizontal line with, say, equation y equals b, such that the values of f of x get closer and closer to b when x increases without bound or decreases without bound. The picture shows the relationship between the graph of the function and the horizontal line y equals b. If we look at the points, the plotted points, x sub 1, f of x sub 1, x sub 2, f of x sub 2, and x sub 3, f of x sub 3, we can see that x values are increasing. They are getting larger and larger. As for the corresponding points on the graph, they will be approaching the line y equal b. The values of y for those points and therefore values f of x sub 1, f of x sub 2 or f of x sub 3 will be coming closer and closer to the value b if we move further and further with the values of x. Similar behavior we can notice on the other side when the values of x could be decreasing without bound. Corresponding points on the graph will be approaching the line y equal b, so the values of a, f would be coming closer and closer to b. So this is the relationship between the graph of the function in blue and the horizontal line, which we call horizontal asymptote. As you can see, by definition, we are looking only for x's that are increasing without bound, which would be x's on the left and right hand side, increases without bound, so it will be on the right hand side of the graph, and decreasing without bound will be on the left hand side. So existence of horizontal asymptote determines the end behavior of the function we are looking how the function behaves on the left end when the values of x are large and negative and on the right end when the value of um, x is large positive. For a rational function there, there can be only one horizontal asymptote. There might be none but if there is a horizontal asymptote is one, it is one. So the function, if there is a horizontal asymptote, the graph of the function will approach this line on the left and on the right. Also, it is worth mentioning that a graph of a rational function can cross a horizontal asymptote. So there might be some point that that graph will cross the horizontal asymptote. That. Of course, the situation shown on the picture is just one um, situation that could occur for the graph of the function. For other uh, cases, it could happen that the graph will approach the, uh, the horizontal line from below and from below on the other side, on the left, and in between, function could behave in a different way. It could have the vertical asymptote, say x equals zero. It could also be a continuous function. So if, let's say, it approaches horizontal line on the left and on the right from above, then it could be continuous function and behave, for example, like this. And of course, we can have um, function approaching that horizontal line from below here and from above here and could be the graph could be for example like this but what's most important when discussing the graphs of the uh, rational functions that have a horizontal asymptote is that on the extreme left and on the extreme right the graph is close to that line 